Hey guys, welcome back to episode 47 of The Long Dark. So, we made it back to the house. Um, it's 10 hours of daylight left. We're in, in a fresh day, more or less. We can hear the wind howling outside, but we need to go back and try and find wherever I dumped that that venison before we got trapped in that snowstorm. Um, and I don't know if the weather's gonna be permitting here. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. Minus three, howling wind. I I really don't like the look of that. I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit and see. I wanna cook this rabbit, but I don't wanna fire up the, the stove just to cook one piece of meat when we're gonna have to do it for all that other stuff as well, you know? So let's, um, let's get rid of some of our hunger here. Let's have something which is already, in fact, are we, um, yeah, risk of intestinal parasites. Can't eat the bear meat just yet. Let's have something out of our our stores here. Die if I don't get some food soon. No, you won't. You got plenty of time. I'm definitely not eating this rancid venison here. In fact, do we need? No, we're pretty slaked. We're not thirsty at all. So let's let's eat some stale peanut butter. Mmm. Uh, and see how far that gets us. Well, there's actually a good number of calories in that. That was pretty good. Let's let's go do some reading for a bit and just see if the weather clears that, you know, and then it'll warm up anyway. We can head out and we can try and find that meat. My problem, ooh, a couple hours of this maybe? My problem is that it's been a few days since I recorded last time, so I can't remember exactly where I did leave all that. I was in like a little, little alcove. Um, oh my goodness. That sounds like a blizzard. Okay, let's read for another couple of hours. I know it was in like a little recess and the rocks was trying to shelter from the, the snow and everything, but... Yeah, blizzard is still going strong. Uh, okay, let's read for another couple hours. And then we definitely need a drink, if nothing else. Oh, that sounds better. That sounds better. Let's have some water here. And then poke our heads outside. Oh, I should probably put this back down, shouldn't I? So I'm not carrying it around. Drop you. Put you back on the shelf, because you aren't red yet. Put that down. The wind is still pretty bad. Got a few calories still. What's the weather going to be like out here now? Oh, still appallingly bad. Oh my goodness. Um, we are getting pretty low in calories. Risk of parasites is passed. Let's eat. I just want to see what number this is on before we actually eat it. 56%. Yeah, I'll, I'll eat that. Why not? That'll get us through for a little bit longer. We can do a little bit more reading. Let's get back in. I guess there's just nothing else to do when the the wind is howling and the weather's terrible outside. What can you do except get inside and read a good book? Uh, although I don't think I would normally choose to read a magazine about guns in my free time, but whatever. This is about survival. We'll, we'll, knowledge is power. We'll, <laughs> we'll do whatever we need to do. Research you. Let's do another couple of hours. I'm worried that the usable part of the day is going to be over, though. Yeah, this has just been a horrific day for weather. Just snowstorm all day long. Read for another couple hours. I think we're going to be getting to nighttime now, though. Yeah, it's too dark to read. Okay, well, that day was a best. But it's fine. Um, we need to get through these books before we move on anyway, I guess. So, are we pretty thirsty now? Yeah, we are pretty thirsty. Let's drink some water. This is why it's nice to have some food stockpiled and why I'd like to have that venison here. Um, oops, where am I going? Just so we, we have a stockpile of food in case we get stuck in the house like this, but we're okay. Let's, um, let's have some tasty dog food. See how far that gets us. Our trusty can opener here. Mmm. Oh, oh, it's it's delicious. Oh, that that was very satisfying. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Uh, it's nighttime, so let's go up to bed. I know it's pitch black, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just it's not really much to see, to be honest. Just getting by, killing time. 
hopefully by the time we get to daylight, this storm will have blown itself out. So let's have a good night's sleep. Yeah, weather sounds better already. Woke up fully rested. Let's drink some more water here. I think we're still gonna have to kill a little bit of time though. I don't wanna be going out in the darkness. So let's just um, pass three hours. And then maybe sleep for a couple hours just so we're topped up on our fatigue. Oh, and it sounds lovely out there now. Peaceful, quiet. Fantastic. And then sleep for maybe like another three hours if we can. And hope that another storm wasn't following that one. I don't know if there's a way to predict the weather in this game, but I haven't figured it out yet if there is. Drink a little bit more water. Let's go poke our heads outside and see how cold it is. Um, might as well go up this way, I guess. I don't think there were any predators. Well, I guess I wouldn't know. They could have crept up on the house in the dark. We might have to turn around pretty quickly here and run back inside. No. No, that seems okay. Feels like minus three. Hmm... Still, the visibility is pretty poor, though. I think it's bad enough that I could get lost if I, I headed out. But why don't we go down the basement? Let's just check on these hides. I really want this bear skin to finish. Although we need a second one, I just remember, don't we? We need to make a trip over to that plateau and try and find another hide. Oh, and go explore to the southwest. Yeah, I'm remembering all the things I've forgotten to do. <laughs> Let's, well, one rabbit pelt, one wolf pelt. We've got a bunch of cured guts. Um... Hmm. Let's get out of here. Maybe just read for another hour or two. You've got to be patient in this game. It's not a game about rushing around and going first-person shooter mode and just shooting everything you see. It will punish you for being rash and making silly mistakes. Look, if I head out now, there's a good chance that I'm going to get lost, stranded out in the cold, and that will end badly for us. So we're gonna we're gonna play the the patience game. We've got productive things we can be doing around the house, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's do like another two hours of this, and then we'll check and see what the weather's like outside. I'd eat anything right about now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to put it down in case I need it again. Let's, let's have a look. Cross your fingers, I want to be able to do something. Visibility is still absolutely atrocious. Hmm. Okay. Yep, yeah, fine. We're gonna eat some crackers, I think. I saw those in there. They've been calling to me. I fancy some crackers, so let's have some crackers. Mm mm. Take you. There's a few more calories there. And then we can. Read some more of our magazine here. Let's do another couple hours of this. Uh, drink some more water, maybe. We are actually starting to get a little bit low on water, too. So, I mean, we've got all of that reclaimed wood. We've got all this firewood. I mean, I wouldn't mind picking up a little bit more if we get the opportunity. But I think we need to just have one big cook-a-thon where we just cook all of our meat up and just make another stockpile of water just to get us through the next few days. Oh, look at that. That is so much better. Um, how heavy is that thing? 0.5. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. We got a bit of capacity still. Now is the time to go back and figure out where we left all that meat, I think. So I believe if I head over in this general direction, we'll find that river, then I need to search along it until I find the meat that we had to dump. That blizzard we got caught out in, that was really, really inconvenient. <laughs> it was so much nicer, we could have just grabbed that stuff and brought it home with us. But no, the game had other plans. Guess that's the way it works in the long dark. Okay, so let's see where we were trying to shelter. Oh, right there. That was easy. We were so close to the house. If I'd just gone that way and up, we would have been there. Oh, fresh venison, fresh deer hide. Let's grab all this stuff. Oh, we had some firewood there, too. 
I'm probably gonna be a little bit, yeah, overburdened. Something behind. That's no problem. That's no problem. We can make the little trek back to the house. We've even got our footprints here, so we can still see what we're doing. Apparently, I've got high encoding usage again. CPU usage. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Oh my goodness, there's a whole pack of them. Very close to the house as well. Hmm. I guess it's a good thing we don't need to, to leave the building for a little bit here. Let's get back over. For the first time, I actually feel like I kind of wish there was a bear around. Oh, that's what I decided, wasn't it? We weren't... Yeah, we're going to go explore that southwest area and see what we can find. And if we don't find a bear there, we're just going to head to the next area of that bear skin. I just remember that's what I was planning to do. So let's grab this rabbit meat as well and pop back inside the house. Maybe grab a little bit more firewood for good measure. Do we have water on us? Not very much. I'm going to grab some because we're probably going to need a drink in a bit. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to cook all this meat before that happens. So fire striker, tinder plugs. No, we don't want to burn that. Start with a stick, 85% chance of success. Let's see if we can get this, this stove lit here. I feel like it'd be Come pretty on. hard to Come fail on. lighting this. It's not like you have to deal with wind blowing or anything like that. It should be pretty easy, shouldn't it? They're, they're designed to be easily lit. <laughs> but I guess if you don't know how to start a campfire, you might, might still struggle with it. I guess that's what the skill's supposed to represent. Come on, you can do it. Yes. It. Okay, we got a fire going. I'm going to really have to be careful about that magazine. I don't want to burn that, at least not until we've, we've actually had a chance to finish reading it. Let's get a rabbit meat cooked. I think that's the first thing we're going to eat because it's running pretty low. But yeah, this stuff's still at 90%. It's been left out in a blizzard, so I guess that works pretty well. Cook these up. I think I am going to need to stick some more fuel in this thing, especially if we want to be making some water. Then hopefully this venison will tide us over for a bit. We're gonna have gonna, just going to dump it outside with all the other meat. Hopefully it'll stay fresh for quite a while. This does um, sort of, in my head, answer one of the questions I was having, which is what degrades faster, cooked or raw meat? And it looks like it's the the raw meat which degrades faster because like we've those um those cooked bear steaks we left outside in the cold they've barely de um, degenerated at all whereas these were fresh ones we left them out in the food. snow and they've gone down by like 10 percent in the space of a day or two so that's good to know as well starting to understand how the food works in this game 50 days survived or so <laughs> you would hope so by now i guess Man, the sound of that sizzling food is actually making me hungry in real life as well. I can feel my mouth watering. <laughs> okay, so that's all the meat cooked. I'm just going to stick some more firewood here just so it doesn't burn out while I'm moving this stuff outside. Let's get out here. Eventually. Uh, yep, so we've still got carnivore meat. I might stick the non-carnivore meat out here. Oh yeah, up to 95%. That's pretty good. We're just going to eat you. Why not? And then if we drop all of these, we know where they are. They should stay reasonably fresh, I hope, out here. And we can get back inside and we can start working on our water situation here. Maybe grab another couple of bits of cedar just in case. Shove those on the fire. Should be able to do five liters of snow with this, I think. Yeah, comfortably, no problem. And then five more, boil it. So that's like five more liters of water we've got. I kind of want more though, so we're just gonna use up some of this stuff. We don't have any shortage. I can easily get more just by breaking down furniture around this house and some of the other locations that are around if we really need it. Uh, and let's do another five liters. 
Oh, we are really thirsty now, though. We're going to have to have a Too quick drink of water. Make sure I drink the right one, because that seems like the sort of thing I would do. Ah, uh, boil five more. So that's roughly about 10 liters of water. It's nighttime now. Let's um, let's just make the, the most of this, what's left in this fire. We're getting pretty tired. I feel like it's bedtime. <laughs> Can we squeeze like another half liter out of this? I could eat a horse. I've never I mean I get a rough sense of how long it takes to boil this stuff, but I always seem to misjudge it. Yeah, I think that'll do. Let's not get greedy. Oh, it's so cozy in here. I could just like curl up in front of this fire and sleep here, I think. <laughs> That'd probably be a terrible idea. There's a perfectly good bed upstairs. Don't don't sleep downstairs in front of a fire. Uh, drop. Whatever, let's just drop like 10 liters of this, I guess. Yeah, it's a decent amount there. And then do we still have some firewood on us? I think I, I had too much, didn't I? Uh, a couple of pieces of reclaimed wood. I might actually keep one of those on me just for emergencies. Um... And you know what? Before bed, we're not at risk of parasites anymore, are we? So I think it's time to eat some bear meat. I want to drop off these hides downstairs because we might as well get them, get them uh, processing. Oh, that's nice too. Peaceful, nice, thick, sticky snow. That's that's the right kind of snow for for making snowmen right there. If ever I saw some. Um, let's take you and just double check it before we eat it. Yep, yeah, still looks good. Okay, so we managed to eat all of that wolf meat before it went off. Just because the food's lasting longer outside. So that was definitely worth learning. Thank you so much again, guys. There were a couple of people contributing to that discussion. And it really, really helped me. I learned a lot. Um, and I feel like that's going to make our lives much, much easier for the rest of this series. Let's, uh, I know again it's pitch black. I'm trying to do this quickly here. Let's drop this deer hide. Drop a couple of these. That's weird. I could actually see this little corridor with the, the hatch leading into the basement better in the nighttime than than during the day. That's strange. Maybe my, my night vision's just improved. Close the door. No, I thought I heard a wolf or something growling. Maybe it was just my stomach. Who knows? Yeah, we're pretty thirsty. We've got a decent number of calories, 800 or so. I think that's enough. Um, I guess it's time for bed. Slightly shorter episode, but we actually managed to eventually achieve what I wanted to achieve. I was kind of expecting it to take longer to find that food again, but it was closer than I remembered. So for now, have a nice drink of water. Going to have a good night's sleep, and I'll say good night to you guys, and I'll see you in the morning in the next episode. Bye bye